everyone in my last video we uh, added a button to our app and when we click on it there will be an alert saying that you clicked me now in this video we want to uh, instead of this button displaying this alert message we want to display something into our console so we are going to be using our console to display information so I'm just going to quickly close my simulator and go to my uh, event listener now instead of this alert you click me I am going to write titanium ti dot api dot info like so and then inside here we are going to write what kind of stuff we want it to I don't know the text we want it to display and stuff so uh, like user clicked on a button like so now let's save it and run our simulator uh refreshing browser was so much quicker than running the simulator at least i don't have to like run the android emulator because i have to like stop it for three minutes every time there we have it and it's launching application in ios simulator and there we go application started sample version 1.0 and that's titanium studio version and let's click and instead of this alert thing coming up it says over here info user clicked on a button which is exactly what we wanted the console to display as a text over here so this is really useful when you're like playing around with some uh an app that you're creating which uses a lot of math for example maths for example and uh, when you want like this button to thing we want the the I don't know the number to display instead of somewhere here to over here so you can like debug your application and stuff which is really useful and there's also one thing that's that you can uh, use in your console to display stuff which I'm going to do today uh, what if you're like uh, in my previous videos, I just like randomly said width is a hundred and top. Uh, oh, that was supposed to be height. That's sorry about that. That was supposed to be height. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, well, the top actually overwritten itself because it was at the bottom, so it doesn't really matter right now. But oops, that was a bad mistake. But yeah, I randomly just said button. We want the uh, height to be uh, 35, width to be 100. We said it, I want it to be 180 pixels from the top, and I could say like something pixels from uh, the left. However, what if we want the we want the console to display your uh, width and your height of your entire screen, so that you have the vague idea of the field, not field, but like the area you actually can play with. So we will quickly create a uh, write code for that. I'm going to terminate my simulator, go right at the bottom of the window open and write two simple codes. It's a bit, yeah, simple. tie.api.info, just like in over here, but instead of, instead of wanting it to display purely uh, a string, we are going to write tie.platform dot display uh, display caps dot platform width like so and this actually will display the width of our uh, my uh, simulator or, or the app that I'm uh, running when I press run and I copy pasted this title info IAP edit info and I'm going to change this from width to height so that it actually displays height as well not just width and height and I can actually uh, for display purposes just say like width uh, width the, like so like that so that I have the string width and I have the colon and after that uh, there will be a space and then it will display the actual number and let's do that same for the height like that you'll see uh, save our work run iPhone simulator 
and the console's initiating prepare phase that sounds cool that's like I don't know lock it launching 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 application oh launching <laughs> application in iOS simulator luckily one of the simulation thing only takes about 10-15 minutes to load okay there we go now without me needing to click anything or go to anywhere just like uh, clicking here if I look at my console it says info width 320 height 480 and width and height is the te uh, string I asked it to display or I wrote down just for display purposes and I already knew that uh, for my basic uh, iPhone screen the width is 320 and height is 480 but if you didn't know or if you're playing around with something else it's actually really useful to display uh, the width and the height of your playground and if I click here it's going to update and say user clicked on a button which is cool <coughs> now if you want to know more about this uh, ti dot or titanium dot api dot info you can always go to dashboard learn and go to API and developer reference cause the API documentation is your friend and there's a lot a lot of stuff to learn so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later